Yourself. Wish that so, you man. were better. Yo, yo, yo. This is attempt number three to go live. Hopefully it's working. Really hope so. Uh, it was giving me a blue screen of death. Oh, no. We are good to go. Yes, sir. We are good to go. We are live, guys. I am super excited for today's training. Got some really, really cool stuff prepared for you guys. The problem was that we went live three other times and it kept showing this blue screen on the background. So I'm happy we're live. I'm happy we're good to go now. Let me just double check that it's good to go, like for real, for real. If you guys are with me right now, drop a one in the chat if you can hear me and if you can see me. If you're live with me right now, drop a one if you can hear me and if you can see me. That way I will know that it's good to go. I'm going to just double check on my end. Because again, I went live like a minute ago, guys, and it was a blue screen. That's all that you could see. Seems like we're good. Let me just grab this. Let me send this out. One second, guys. One sec. One sec. How's everyone doing today? If you're feeling good, if you're feeling excited, if you're ready to go, drop a one in the chat. I'm just letting my team know that we are officially live. I'm super excited to be here with you guys today. And we only have 53 minutes. So at 11.10 Mountain Time, 1.10 p.m. Eastern Time, I'm going to just jump right in and uh, I'm not going to wait anymore. Let's see. All right. We got Akil in the house. We got Mark in the house. We got Sahil. What's up, Sahil? We got Andrew. We got Jordan. Jordan, you are crushing it. Jordan, how many clients did you close in March? Let us know in the comments. Let us know how many clients you closed in March. I know you're killing it. We got Brian. We got Ronald. What's going on, guys? Great to have you today. Super excited. I'm going to give two more minutes, two more minutes, and then we are jumping right in. If you are tuning in live, I see there's 33 of you here right now. There's more joining. We're up to 35. If I don't see a one from you, then I don't know what to tell you. I need to see some ones in the comments. Let's blow this up. I'm going to be giving away our paper show cheat sheet, which breaks everything down behind the paper show model. If you want to get access, I need to see you engaging. I need to see some ones in the comment. So if you want to get access to the paper show cheat sheet at the end, I want to see you guys dropping some comments, showing some love. I'm taking time out of my day to share this with you guys. So the more that you engage with me, the more fun it is. And uh, the more that I'll come back and really over deliver for you guys. All right. The time has come. Let's dive in. If you are ready for the pay per show live, where I'm going to break down how our agency killed the retainer model and closed over 100 clients in the last year using the new pay per show model, then let's dive in. So if you're ready to go, drop one final round of ones and let's do this. I'm gonna share my screen. Hopefully you guys can see it. Uh, let me share. Uh, give me one sec, guys. I just want to make sure that shows up here. And again, if you're watching live, drop a one below. We got Ari. We got Christian. What's up, Christian? It's been a while. We got Jacob. We got a few new faces. We got Caleb. What's up, Caleb? Hope you're doing well. Let me just zoom in on this bad boy and let's jump right in. So 
Today, we are going to go over the new paper show agency model. And I'm going to share how our agency killed the retainer model and closed over 100 clients in the last year using the new paper show model. Now, I want to tell you guys a quick story. And I'm not going to read every single word, but at the end of this, you're going to get access to this Google Doc. So if you do want to read every single word on this Google Doc, you'll get access to this and uh, you'll be able to check it out. So with that in mind, I do want to start off with a little bit of a story. In March 2020, last year, everything that I had worked up for up until that point was crashing down. As you guys know, my agency, Atlas Digital, works with chiropractors. And when COVID hit, we had over 200 clients. The problem is that they started dropping like flies. I don't know about you, but can you imagine getting dozens of refund requests and cancellations in a matter of 48 hours? It was a total nightmare, and we needed to find a way to remove the risk for our clients. And that way, they would be willing to stay on with us, even through all the chaos and uncertainty during COVID. So we thought to ourselves, what if they only got charged when a lead actually shows up to their appointment? And that, my friends, ended up being the million-dollar question. Because since that day, we've closed hundreds of clients with a new model that removes all the risk and it's called the pay per show model. Here's how it works. In the past, you sign up a client, you run some Facebook ads, some Instagram ads, you get them a lot of leads. Maybe you set up high level and you help them with some email and text marketing and email and text follow up. You do some of the nurturing and they pay you a fixed $1,500 per month. Maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. But Unfortunately, guys, that is not cutting it anymore. Business owners are sick of having to take on all the risk. And this is making it super difficult to get and keep clients. Not to mention, you've put a cap on your income. For example, have any of you ever had a client make bank, but then you're still only getting paid $1,500 $2,000? For example, I had a client that made over $100,000, guys, $100,000, yet I still made $1,500, and guess what? They wanted to lock in their gains and lock in their profit, so they canceled. <laughs> and with a paper show model, guys, that would never happen again, because if you deliver and if you perform, you can scale your income on a per-client basis, and with that same client, I could have made an extra 20 to 30K for the exact same service, running the same ads. And that's why the retainer model is dead. But guys, if you ignore this warning, there's a good chance the market will sophisticate faster than you're able to innovate. And if I'm being honest with you, you've probably already started to see a bunch of agencies in your niche switching to paper show. And when this starts to happen, your ads are going to get more and more expensive because your offer is starting to look less and less appealing every single day. Your retention rate is going to drop. And I don't have to read through all this, but the point being, the agency retainer bubble is growing. And once it bursts, there's an opportunity for you to capitalize on the bubble right alongside your clients. And one of the big reasons I wanted to go live today is because I want to help you do it and because I want to introduce the launch of a brand new program we are releasing for agency owners on how to transition your agency to the pay per show model. Now, I'm not going to ask any of you guys to pull out your credit card so you guys can chill uh, I'm going to be dropping a lot of value today. I'm going to be sharing how the model works, how we actually do paper show, pros and cons, what to keep in mind, et cetera, et cetera. So if you're watching this right now, please relax. Please just sit back, enjoy the live. Uh, and uh, that's pretty much it. So let me share my screen again. 
Uh, show and stream. Quote. Cool. All right. By the way, if you're watching this right now and you want to get first dibs, if you want to get first dibs on your niche for our brand new program that we are launching, and if you want to become an early adopter before anyone else, just so you know, you can go to papershowagency.com. Papershowagency.com. If you do want to get a uh, a quick start and beat your 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 competitors, head over to papershowagency.com. So I'm not going to read through all this. I'm going to send you guys this doc if you want it. It really breaks down our story and it breaks down why we switched to paper show. But what I do want to do today is break down the ins and outs of paper show. So we're going to go through all this. We're going to go over how we set it up. We're going to go over everything that you need to know. And uh, it's going to be pretty, pretty powerful. So we got about 45 minutes. Let's freaking do this. What's the best way to scale a digital marketing agency to seven figures while removing the risk for clients in 2021? The purpose of this guide and the live training today is to give you the answer. We're going to explore the four performance models and show you which one produced the most revenue last year for my agency. Plus, we're going to reveal the three prong system that makes this work for almost any niche. No matter what you've heard or what your experience has been with the performance model, I want to assure you that you're going to hear something brand new that's going to revolutionize the marketing agency space in 2021. Now, before I dive into the four models, I do want to give you guys a huge disclaimer. As you all know, one of the reasons that I got into coaching was because I was sick and tired of other people that were coaching without actually knowing what they were doing, and they were doing it in a way that was unethical, and they weren't telling you the truth. And I've always wanted to lead with a heart and share the truth, even if it's not what you want to hear, as long as it's what you need to hear. And I'm going to do the same today. I'm going to give you a huge disclaimer. And the disclaimer is that if you do switch to this new model, it is really hard. It is not easy. If you want all the upside from a performance model, like being able to scale with a client, like being able to close a lot of clients, you're also going to have to perform. And I could sit here and tell you guys it's going to be easy. I could sit here and tell you, oh, guys, just plug and play this and that and you're good. But again, my mission is to build a world-class coaching company and do it the right way, which means telling the truth. Even if it's what you need to hear, even though it's not what you want to hear. So before we actually dive into the specifics, I do want to lead with that huge disclaimer. If you guys are going to do performance, if you guys are going to do performance, you have to keep in mind the performance model is for agencies who actually deliver results for clients. If you can't actually get clients results, it's not going to work because you're getting paid based on the performance that you drive, that you get them. With a performance model, you can get all the upside of having an easy yes offer, which makes it really easy for clients to start working with you. But like I said, you have to be able to perform. You have to actually be able to produce results for your clients. The biggest reason for this is because you take on a lot more risk, which sounds like something really bad, but I promise you, if you level up, and if you actually use this as an opportunity to challenge yourself and get better at marketing for your clients, you'll be able to make way more per client compared to the retainer model. And if you don't feel like you're really good, if you don't feel like you quite have what it takes, I would encourage you to see this as a challenge to level up, to be better, to 
figure out how to win and beat your competition. So it's not easy. It's definitely a harder model. And with that risk, with that challenge, also comes massive upside. That's why I've been able to close over 100 clients because I took on the risk and because I got better. And you're going to have to go through that same process if you want to get 100 clients. So don't shy away from this. What I would encourage you all to do is to lean in and step forward to the challenge and welcome it and be excited about it. Because if you step up and you execute, you'll be able to reap the rewards of this model. So let's keep going. By the way, guys, there's a lot of people on here live with me. If this is making sense, if this is making sense, drop a one below. If this is making sense, drop a one below. I did want to start us off with that disclaimer because I think it's really, really important. If it's making sense, if it's resonating, drop a one below. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. Um, here we go. Share. I wish there was an easier way to share back and forth, but I don't think there is. Uh, let's see. All right. The retainer versus performance model. I'm not going to spend a lot of time explaining what the retainer model is, but just so that we're clear on the definitions here, the retainer model is where you charge a fixed amount of money per month for your agency services. The performance model is where you get compensated proportionally based on the value you bring to your clients. So why should you transition your agency to a performance model? Number one, you can get leads and book calls from ads really cheap and fill your calendar at a fraction of the cost that your competitors do. So for example, when we were running ads saying, hey, we only charge you when a patient shows up, we were able to fill up our calendar for really cheap and our cost per booked appointment went down. Organic outreach becomes much more effective because it's such a sexy offer you're going to have the satisfaction and financial benefits of having the best offer on the market. So if you guys can actually execute on a paper show offer, uh, the beautiful part about it is you have the best offer, which means that you are going to win, <laughs> plain and simple. Someone asked, do you charge a setup fee? Delroy, I will get to that at the end. We're going to go over pricing... Hopefully we have enough time, <laughs> but we're going to go, I have a whole section on pricing. I really want to show you guys everything and over deliver, which is why we're taking our time and really going through every nitty gritty aspect of the paper show model. All right. Here's another reason to transition. Your income per client becomes uncapped as now you're a true partner who shares in the profits. It's also going to make you way more appealing to large, large clients like franchises who might just account for 80% of your revenue if you set it up correctly. Uh, guys, real quick, before I keep going, am I freezing? Christian said I'm freezing. Am I freezing right now? Someone on the live... I'm following along on my phone. Christian said that I'm freezing. Am I freezing or am I good? Let me know in the comments. All right, let's keep going. If the economy collapses, you'll be much more likely to succeed because again, you're removing the risk, which is why we were able to grow during COVID. Uh, okay, it seems like I'm good. And another big reason to switch to performance is because if you don't, the market is going to innovate and you're not going to be able to keep up. And the new agencies who take on this opportunity are going to end up with all of the clients. So those are really the, the major reasons why you want to switch. Now let's talk about the four performance-based agency mo models. 
First one is paper lead. Second one is paper appointment. Third one is paper close. And final one is paper show. Now, like I said, you guys will get access to this Google Doc. So you can take your time and read through all this. I'm not going to spend all the time on the pros and cons. How do I stop sharing? I'm not going to spend too much time on the pros and cons, but I do want to just take a second to share my thoughts on paper lead versus paper appointment versus paper show and versus paper close. Number one, people have been doing paper lead for a long, long time. The reason why it doesn't work as well is because at the end of the day, a chiropractor, for example, or a gym owner or a realtor has seen leads. They've already done it, tried it. Leads are pretty much worthless now. Even like I could teach my little brother or my mom, my amazing mom, I could teach her to go out and set up some Facebook ads and generate leads. Leads is not where the, uh, how do I say this? Where the power of the service, of the marketing service comes from. So if I go to a chiropractor and I'm like, I'll sell you 50 leads that are like, I could care less about leads. That's why paper lead doesn't work. Paper appointment, it's a step in the right direction for sure. It's way better than paper lead. But then we deal with the biggest objection of all time from most local businesses. I paid for leads. I got a bunch of appointments. None of them showed up. Or the leads suck. The quality sucks. I got a lot of leads. I got a lot of appointments. They never showed up. They don't really care. So paper appointment still doesn't solve the problem fully. With paper show, you get the best of all worlds because now you can give them what they want, which is someone that actually shows up and you can get paid based on performance. So you control the process, which means that if you're good, you'll get paid a lot. And for example, with paper close, you don't control it. They have to be good at closing. So paper show gives you the biggest upside with the smallest downside. You get to leverage the performance model and all the benefits of getting paid based on how good you are, based on your ability to deliver results while still being fully in control and also giving them what they want, which is someone that shows up. That is what they want. So you get all the benefits, the client gets all the benefits, and you get to keep control. If you move to paper close, which is the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate offer on the planet, I'm being honest, paper close is the greatest offer on the planet because now it's based on actual money in the door. The problem with that is you lose control. And now you no longer actually can predict whether or not you're going to get paid. Because let's say you generate the lead, you generate the appointment, you get the show, and they still don't close, you don't get paid. So it's almost a little too risky. Now it doesn't make sense anymore. This is a weird analogy, guys. Bear with me. But paper show is kind of like investing in Bitcoin when it was at like 20K. And uh, paper close is like throwing your money in in some weird altcoins so that you have no idea if they're going to perform. When we put Bitcoin at 20K, we're like, yo, that's going up. That's going to keep scaling. <laughs> it's kind of risky, but it's going to keep moving. With paper close, you're like, I have no idea. Maybe they'll close it. Maybe they won't. I can't control it. So with paper lead, they don't care about leads. Paper appointment, mm, they still don't care about appointments because they're going to complain about lead quality. And if they don't show up, they're going to be pissed. With paper show, they get exactly what they want, which is someone in the door. And you still keep control of the whole process. And you can make as much money based on if you can deliver the result. With paper close, 
you lose the control. So it's ultimately what they ultimately, ultimately, ultimately want, but it's pretty much impossible to actually execute. Guys, is this making sense? If this is making sense, I wanted to go over the four models and why we do paper show specifically. If this is making sense, drop a one below. If this is making sense, drop a one below. And I'm getting a lot of questions at the end. I'm going to do a little Q&A. Or maybe next week we'll do Q&A. Next week we'll open it up to Q&A. And a lot of this stuff is going to be answered today, by the way. But is this making sense? Mason said, Mason, you brought up a really good point. Mason, I appreciate you. Thank you for dropping that comment. Mason said, you have to have your backend processes to a T. Yes. Like I said at the beginning, I gave you guys this warning. If you weren't here, I guess you'll hear it again. And if you were here, sorry, if you were here, you'll hear it again. If you weren't here, now you will. The warning is that for the performance model to work, you also have to be able to perform. You have to be really good. And if you're not, you're not going to leverage the upside. So it is the ultimate. It's almost like this, guys. I'm sure some of you guys saw Spider-Man the movie. There's a quote in the movie where it's like, with great power comes great responsibility. There's a, there's a lot of upside in having power. There's a lot of upside. But it also carries a lot of responsibility, which you need to own up to and level up to and step up to. The same thing with paper show. Great power. You can close hundreds of clients. You can scale with them, but also great responsibility. You have to know what you're doing. Hopefully, that's a good analogy for you guys. Uh, let's see. If And by the way, I would not do paper lead. I would not do paper appointment. I would not do paper close. I would be doing paper show. That's the whole point of me talking about the pros and cons. All right, let's keep going. Guys, if this is making sense, drop a one below. If this is making sense, drop a one below. And by the way, I appreciate you guys so, so much. It means the world to me that you guys are here with me today. Uh, drop a one below if this is making sense. And like I said, we're going to give away that entire cheat sheet for free. So at the end of the live, I'm going to make a separate post being like, who wants the cheat sheet? And as long as you comment, my team will reach out and send it to you for free. Um, all right. Trying to share my screen. Let's keep going. We got 27 minutes. All right. Those are some of the pros and cons behind the four performance models. Now let's talk about how to actually make it work. A lot of you guys are probably wondering, how does this work? How do you actually track it? How do you price it? Let's go over all of that. We're going to go over the process. We're going to go over how to confirm the show and charge clients. I also want to talk about niches. Does it work for any niche? We'll talk about that in a second. First, let's go over how we actually make it work. All right. To make paper show work, you're going to need three things. First, you're going to need something called dialogue flow. You can actually look it up. Dialogue flow. This is Google's technology that allows you to automatically follow up with leads over text message. And it's Google's new brainchild that enables you to have life-like conversational AI with state-of-the-art virtual agents right at your fingertips. And what we have done is we have partnered up with someone that has spent hours and hours and hours, hundreds of hours, and has spent thousands of dollars creating code, creating code that allows us to link up dialogue flow and go high level. 
So we're able to leverage Google's AI technology to follow up with all of our leads and have real time conversations with a lead fully automated in high level. That's the first piece to making this work. The second piece is you're going to need to have a call center. And depending on the niche, this is going to be more mandatory than others. For example, in some niches like Cairo or gyms where you can truly schedule most people through high level, you might not need a call center. But a few of you have asked me, what about weird niches like roofing? What about weird niches like realtors? For those niches, you're going to need a call center because the show is going to be a live transfer. Paper show is really in some niches, paper live transfer. You're, you're transferring the lead who scheduled the appointment to the client. So for some niches where you're thinking, oh, this isn't going to work, like how would this work for a realtor that's going to talk to someone that like how are, they might need to meet in person at a coffee shop to go look at houses or a roofer that needs to go visit the actual home. The way that we make this work in those niches is by implementing a call center. And what we are essentially going to do is hire callers and put out job ads to hire these callers to schedule these leads and then transfer them live to the client. So for sp some specific niches, paper show is going to be paper show to a phone call appointment. And that's how we make it work in some of the niches where you're probably thinking, how is this going to work? So first, we use Dialogflow. We link it to go high level with special code that our strategic partner has spent hundreds of hours and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars developing. That will automatically follow up with all our leads. Then we use a call center, depending on the niche, to actually call the lead and transfer them. And then the last piece, guys, is we use a virtual, we use virtual assistants to fill in any of the gaps. <clears throat> Let me share my screen. All right, so the last piece, we have virtual assistants who fill in any of the gaps with texting the leads if something got kind of uh, broken or to follow up, et cetera, et cetera. These are the three parts of the paper show system that really allow it to work. And you need all three pieces to make it work. Now, does it work for any niche? The only niche where paper show is not going to work is going to be in e-commerce, but you can still do performance. It just won't be paper show because no one's showing up for e-commerce. It's someone that's buying something. So an e-com, and by the way, if you're watching this and you are an e-com, this still applies because if you can take what we teach as far as getting performance clients and doing all the systems to scale with performance, it's still really, really valuable, but it's not just, it's not going to be paper show specifically. It's going to be either based on your ROAS, based on your ad spend. So you can definitely still do performance and e-com, just paper show specifically might not make as much sense. But if you're watching this and you are an e-com, keep watching because a lot of these systems will very much still apply. Now, weird niches like roofing. I have someone in our program that's closing over 60 clients a month right now on paper show for roofing. But the trick is that they also have a call center because that is part of it in roofing. You can't, for example, the roofer is showing up to someone else's house. So paper show would not really work that well. The way that we make it work that well is by introducing a call center and doing a live transfer and then counting that as a show. Then we count that as a show. All right, let's break down the process in very, 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 very simple steps. 
here's how it works. We generate the lead. Then we book the appointment. So to generate the lead, guys, you need to know how to run Facebook ads, Instagram ads, YouTube ads, etc. You need to be able to come up with really good offers. But at this point, guys, if I'm speaking from the heart here, there are so many resources out there to teach you how to generate leads for clients. It's ridiculous. Like you should be able to figure out how to generate leads. If you can't, then like that was like 2017 was where it was hard to generate leads. So that's the first step. The first step is we're going to generate uh, the lead. The second step, the second step, let me share my screen again. Second step is we're going to book the appointment. We're going to book the appointment via a call center or through the dialog flow follow-up on high level or through virtual assistance, but we're essentially going to turn the lead into an appointment. So for example, let's say the lead signs up for a $21 adjustment for a chiropractor. Then we text them and say, Hey, uh, when would be a good time for you to come in over the next uh, few days? And we're doing this conversation automatically with dialogue flow. They're like, oh, Friday works. Awesome. What about 2 p.m. Mountain time? Perfect. See you then. Boom. We book the appointment. Here's where it gets really, really, really amazing, guys. And if you're watching this, pay close attention because a lot of you guys are wondering, how do we actually get them to show up or confirm the appointment? What we're going to do is take, there's a, there's a few different ways to do this. First, on high level, you can move them from appointment to show and you can have the client manually do it. Now for this, you're going to have to use the honesty system and that should work for a good chunk of the leads. But to double and triple check, what you're going to do is you're also going to send a text to confirm the appointment and to make sure that they showed up. And you're going to use a call center to call the lead and make sure that they showed up. And this is where the power is in your hands and you can control the process and you don't have to worry whether or not the client is lying. Because you can, for example, text the lead and say, hey, how was your appointment? We'd love some feedback. The appointment... Yo, can you guys hear me? If you can hear me, drop a one below. If you can hear me, drop a one below. If you can hear me, someone said drop a one to make Joel come back. That's funny. That's hilarious. Uh, that is so funny. If you can hear me now, uh, if you can hear me, let me know in the comments. Am I back? No, 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 my back. Don't go. Isaac, don't go. 
If Isaac leaves, we won't let him watch the replay. Just kidding, Isaac. Just kidding. Um, all right. It seems like I'm back. Let's keep going. Cool. What was I saying? Okay. So text to confirm the appointment. They showed up. Call to confirm the appointment to make sure that the sh they showed up. And also work with your client. And they'll also track some as showed up. That is how we charge the client. And every time we move them over to showed, we charge them. Every time we move them over to showed, we charge them. And uh, this is how it works. Now, a few more things to go over. A few more things to go over. If you are in some niches where the appointment is not as simple as someone just going to the dental practice or to the chiropractor or to the gym, what we're going to do is track live transfers as showed up. So for example, if you work with realtors and you're already doing live transfers, every time you transfer them and they show up to the call, the realtor speaking to the potential buyer or seller, you move them to show it on high level and you charge them. So this is, um, this is how it works. This is how we do it. And Let's see. Let's keep going. Someone asked, are we using Eliza? We are not using Eliza. We custom coded our own uh, system. Someone asked if we're using Eliza. We are not using Eliza. This is, this is something different that we have. All right. Let's see. Okay. You would ask the lead. Uh, someone said to me where I froze. Essentially, you would say, hey, lead, how was your appointment? Or um, you would call the lead and say, hey, we just wanted to check in and get feedback. How did your appointment go today? Just to confirm that they showed up. You could also uh, ha say, hey, uh, your five minutes, uh, your, your appointment is coming up in five minutes. Re uh, reply uh, yes or reply one if you're going to make it on time. We have a bunch of different little hacks to predict that they are showing up. So for example, you can say, hey, as soon as you get there, please text us so that uh, we know that you've arrived. Very, very simple stuff. Hey, as soon as you get there, please text us the number one to check in for your appointment. They text you the number one, you move them to showed. Very, very simple tweaks and hacks to make sure that they're actually showing up to the appointment. And if it's a live transfer, once you transfer them, that's it. They showed up. All right, let's keep going. Um, what else do I want to talk about? Because I only have 12 more minutes today, guys. Let me share my screen. Um, Guys, because I only have 12 more minutes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you guys this Google Doc. And by the way, if you're watching this right now and you want this Google Doc, please stick till the end because I'm going to be giving you instructions on how to actually get this Google Doc. Um, so please hang tight till the end. But if you want this Google Doc, I have some final thoughts on pros and cons. I go over the most irresistible offer. Oh, let's talk about this. I think this is really important. What do people need to get started? What do people need to get started? You have to get good at generating leads for your clients. If you don't know how to come up with good offers for your clients and then running Facebook, Instagram, YouTube ads, that's the first step. Then you have to figure out how to connect Google's Dialogflow API to high level. Then you need to hire virtual assistants in a call center to fill the gap that the AI leaves. And last but not least, you need to create a system to confirm the appointments so, so that you can get paid. The system, for example, is everything from the text to confirm the appointment to training your call center to call to confirm to setting up go high level to charge the client. You have to have all that in place. 
pricing strategies. Here we go. You can charge a setup fee. This can be anywhere between one to $5,000. And this allows you to ROI on the front end before you do any real work for the client. And the way that you would essentially do this is say, hey, after this initial setup fee, I take on all the risk for the rest of our business relationship forever. So this is the only thing that allows me to be able to put in the systems in place to actually support this performance model for a long, long time. And this pitch, for example, we charge $2,500 setup fee. We charge $2,500 setup fee. And we essentially say, hey, we have no idea whether or not you're going to dip after a week. So we don't want to do five days worth of work or one week worth of work. And then you just dip after getting 10 shows. So this makes sure that you have some skin in the game to commit to this partnership over the long run. You also don't need to do a setup fee if you don't want to. And especially if you're a beginner, you definitely don't need to do a setup fee. But we do $2,500. I've seen people go anywhere between this range. You can price the per show however you want. I would say that based on the niche, it's going to be higher or lower. So for example, if you're working with surgeons, $500 per show makes sense. If you're working with chiros, we charge anywhere between $100 to $200 per show. If you're working with gyms, anywhere between 50-ish to 60-ish. And the trick here, here's a golden nugget. So if you're watching this live with me right now, pay attention. Pay attention to this big golden nugget. Your goal be to collect as much ad spend as humanly possible. The more that you collect, the more shows that you can generate. <laughs> For example, we ask, this is, I'm giving this away. We give, we charge $2,500 setup up to $175 per show and a minimum of $1,500 a month in ad spend. But ideally, we get even more in ad spend. The more ad spend you guys collect, the more money you'll make because the more shows you'll get, period. Instead of raising this price, for example, and instead of raising this price, raise ad spend. More ad spend, you'll get paid more. Simple. The client has to cover ad spend. Client has to cover ad spend. All right, here we go. The ultimate retention downsell. And then, man, there's so much good stuff here. All right. The ultimate retention downsell. And by the way, I'm not going to be able to cover everything, but you'll be able to get access to this Google Doc afterwards. Some clients get spooked when they realize they just paid you a lot of money. Because if you actually deliver and you actually perform guess what? It's going to cost them a lot. And even though they made it out just fine, they still might be thinking about canceling. If that happens, you just downsell them a six to 12 month retainer contract because they would rather pay you $1,500 a month. After you get them results, they're going to be like, oh man, I should have just paid you the 1500. So you'll be like, okay, perfect. We'll do 1500, but you have to commit for 12 months. So um, this is one of the biggest hacks right here to actually getting them sticky for a long, long time. If you actually perform and you get them great results, they're going to end up paying you a lot. That's the whole point. Performance. No risk to them, but you get all the benefits. If they want to leave because they're paying you too much, you say to them, hey, look, instead, let's go back to the retainer and I'll lock you in for six to 12 months. You know that I'm good at what I do. You know I can deliver, but just commit to me long-term. All right, I'm going to skip through some of this. You can always go back and check it out. We already talked about this, so I'm not going to even keep it in there. Um, here we go. Guys, paper show is going to become the new standard. This is inevitable. And if you think your sales process won't be affected by an uprise of just one or two paper show agencies in your niche, 
then you may not understand the severity of the situation. You might already be a great salesperson, but you're going to encounter new objections like, the other agency said they only charge me when a lead shows up. Do you do that? It's going to handle that. Fact is, you're going up against a better offer. And if you want to stay in business, eventually you're going to cave. So the question I want to ask you is, it's, is it going to be too late? Think of one other agency owner in your niche if you can. Maybe you bumped into them in this Facebook group. And chances are, if you're watching this right now, they've already seen this and are taking action as you read this, or they'll see it within a couple of days. Even right now, guys, Matt Pulliam is already doing paper show and he's commenting on this live right now. And he's doing paper show. So what I want to ask you guys is, are you going to make this pivot now and get ahead? Or are you going to wait and be left behind? So what I want to invite you guys to do today, what I want to invite you guys to do today is to go to papershowagency.com and apply to see if we can help you with your niche. And this is a brand new program that we're launching. I'm really, really excited about this. You cannot get this anywhere else. And no other coaching program is doing this. So here's what you're going to get. If you go to papershowagency.com and apply, here's what you are going to get. You're going to get everything inside of our flagship seven-figure agency coaching program. Plus, we are launching a brand new paper show agency program, which includes the paper show agency course. We're going to show you how to get paper.